find out. Christ even said it too, didn't it? Yeah. Christ responded to him. And he said it to him, what, what's written in the law? You, you a lawyer. Yeah. Well, what, what does the law say? You come running, you come asking me what I must do to inherit eternal life. You asking me. And you are a lawyer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it back on you. <laughs> That's what he did, didn't it? I'm gonna yeah. throw it back on you. What does the law say? Yeah, what is written? Come on, bro. What is written? Come on. I mean, if 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 you ask me, obviously, you know about eternal life, then you know something about how to achieve it. Achieve it. Come on. Receive it. Yes, sir. And so obviously he did. Yes, but sir. In, in exposing that, he asked this question. That I think was a, a a valid question. It was a valid question, but Christ gave but, a valid answer too. But what would have been more valid was asking how how do you <laughs> do the first part? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know how do you do the first part? Because the first part, you get that down. The second part is easy. I think you know. I think a lot of cases people uh, don't. I think they think they already got that first part done. But you can't have the first part done <laughs> and not the second. Because <laughs> the first part is 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 the key to the second part. Second part. Because if you do the first part, the second part is just a sub of the first. Come on. And it just takes care of itself. Exactly. <laughs> in doing the first part. Right. Because Woo. if 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 you're loving God, then obviously you have to love the image and likeness of God. Come on. We're made in the image of God in the likeness. And so of God. life that was given of God, do you have to reverence that? Wow. Cause we're image, we're made in the image of yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. to 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 not love your neighbor when you think of it as that. If 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 the forefront, if the the first is not a part of your every moment yes. because that's what it's saying. That's what it's saying. It's saying with all your heart, mm -hmm. with all your soul, yes, with all your strength, and this is the the the, the key. Yeah, with all your mind. If all it's your... always on your mind, then the last of that takes care of itself. Take care of itself. There you because go. thy neighbor as mm -hmm. thyself will be taken care of because your mind is always on God. Exactly. Your spirit is always given to God. Your soul is owned of God. Yes. Your heart is given to God. So if that is the first, then mm -hmm. every law yes. that comes after it it's, it falls up under that because it is a subsidiary of the first. Yeah. Like if, if it's like if you, if I'm trying to figure out, if you got in your car. Yes, sir. And you turn that ignition. Turning that ignition is the first thing. Yes, sir. Everything that happens after that is because you turned on that ignition on. That engine starts to run, that gas starts to get used. You know, the oil is cooling down the engine, the water's cooling down the engine. You know, the exhaust is coming out, momentum and braking, all that stuff is made once you turn that key on. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That combust, yeah. that engine runs from turning that key on. Loving the God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind is mm. turning that key on. Yes, sir. And loving thy neighbor as thyself is the engine running. Come on now. Right. And and it was funny, the I think the problem was that the law was he said that, right? The law could not do. Oh, it no was, one could could fulfill the law because the law wasn't given to be fulfilled. Nope. Not by 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 any nope. any man other than the one that was coming in the fullness of time. To fulfill it, yeah. Yeah. And so and it wasn't given for righteousness. 
It, it wasn't it, given for holiness. No, nope, it, it wasn't. Was given so that man could see how far their unrighteousness was Come on. from God. How could you know how messed up you are because of, of what Adam and Eve did? Basically, what Adam did. What Adam did. How far you are from God if there is nothing to show you that. That is amazing. That is, though. That, and, if, and, that, if, and that's the only way God could show just how messed up you are. Because in all actuality, what happened to Adam is exactly what Satan said was going to happen to him. But in that, also, it's exactly what God said would happen to him. He and did. God said it first. He did. Yeah. Yeah. And Satan had knowledge that was being it was used to deceive me mm, mm, mm. so he happens. used god's word and and, and 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 understand this it has been happening since that day to even today right that god's word is being used to manipulate to control and to steal, kill, and destroy man and yes. mankind. That, that this is, day, yeah. it has not stopped because that authority that was given to the deceiver yes. has not has not been the, the, the avenue of him yeah. doing that has not been taken away. But no. the power and the authority that he has is 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 removed once you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the replacement of this access that this man has. Yeah. To control your life. Without that, you have no choice but yeah. to follow in what what the enemy is is saying to you because you have not chosen another owner of your soul mm. of your spirit and so once you 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 get rid of that dead spirit the enemy has no power and no authority over you none but none. The, the thing is if you don't know who your neighbor is come on now come on the same as you don't know who you are in christ Hey, 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 matter of fact, you, you, you really put in two questions, right? I'm just going to throw that at you again. You don't know, based on this right here, these scriptures, yay, you're saying you don't know how to inherit eternal life. Mm -hmm. And then two, you don't know who your neighbor is. And yeah. then you were saying the third one, really the first one was, do you even know your love toward God is? Yeah. No, so really, so one is kind of implied because it's not there, but two are very obvious. How do I get eternal life and who is my neighbor? Yeah. And and maybe that's what's been the issue from the dawn, like you said, from the dawn of time, once man fell, the first man born physically through the seed of Adam was a murderer. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It, Isn't it, that something? It, was, it, it went it went from zero to a hundred in sin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that. Zero to a hundred. But you know what? Prior to the fall, there was no such words as eternal life. What, what? Why would you even know about that? You mean death, you mean, right? Or life? Because he well, said you die. There, 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 there was no need to even have an understanding of term, eternal life because it just was. Right. It was. I, there you go. Now that would you trying to say. It was. It was. Right. Right. And and, and, and uh, he told them, if you if you don't don't touch this tree because if you do, yeah. now you know what death is. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You'll you'll actually know. You'll have an understanding of eternal life for real you will exactly exactly because when when you don't have something you cherish what you had 
Yes, sir. You know, most people don't know what they have until they lose it. And it's funny that, that he know he did not restrict them from going after and eating from the tree of life. Yeah. Right? It was not, it was right there. It's right. You know, if it, it, it's hindsight now, brother Azra will be, where where's that tree at? I, I don't care about the other tree. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Leave that tree alone. Yeah. <laughs> I, that 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 tree is not important to me anyway. Where's that tree called life? Uh, that that's the one I need to get immediately connected to, you know. Mm -hmm. And yet that tree was standing there, and they didn't touch it. And and you know what? There's nothing saying that they did not eat from the tree of life. The only thing that only thing we applied is that the they were kicked out so they don't eat the tree of life. So that implied well, they didn't have to touch it. It doesn't imply that they did it before. But but you did. if 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 you ate from let's say you ate from that tree of life. Right. And you you're you're living for eternal life. God's word still overrides that tree. The day you eat of this tree, you shall surely die. Well, that's that's he would he said you will surely die. I guess when he said, look at that. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up. Just a picture. We're we'll close with this anyway, because I I think she's gonna go to church today. Service over there. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the Esau and see does it imply that they did touch it? Because look at the uh, Genesis chapter three, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, when it was kicked out. Let's see here. Uh, see right here, 32? Like you said, 22? Uh-huh. See, look what, he, look what he said. Can you read that for us? Yeah, it says, And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Yeah. And he okay, but it does it. not, <clears throat> in my mind, I'm not saying that they did eat from the tree of life. Right, I agree with you. What I'm saying is they could have. They, they, the only problem is that they probably, but I think. But now that they, that they're in a sinful state, because he didn't say don't eat from that tree. So if they ate from it, they would not have been going against God, which would make them fall. Right. They couldn't have so fallen. They didn't fall from what their initial design and, and 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 everything that they were until they ate of something that they were told not to eat. Right. When they went against God's word. Right. And they allowed an, uh, a, a third party agent yeah. to Another come sword. in between. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. To, to, to become in between and 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 not the word of God. This was not the word of God, right? That they listened to. And prior to that, the only word that they listened to came from God. Yeah, their own source. Yeah, the only source of information from another being yeah came from god until this now i'm not saying that uh they did eat from it you're just saying they could have they, they could have right but what i do know is that what god said is what god said and when he says something it comes to pass exactly and he was concerned about them staying in forever the yeah if they had that fruit <clears throat> or at least to live forever in the state they're in. Yeah. That, and that's there's, it. there's no redeemer. Yeah. You know, there's just uh, uh, death, death. Permanent. Eternal death. Yeah. So he kicked them out for that. Yeah. You know, but like I said, the interest in that parable was the fact that uh, they asked two questions. Because we got to wrap it up anyway. And we'll catch the next one. I don't know. I, I still may want to read the script before we leave. Is uh what must I do in her eternal life? That that is what's being answered here. Yeah. Now he he did. Christ told him, said, "Well, if you 
what the commandment says. Do that. You do that. <laughs> you you good, right? Yeah, you answered right. You, you're correct. Yeah. And then he said, "What? Who is my name?" Yeah, he said, hey, wait, wait, wait. He said, Lord, I, I got you. you. Sound like sound like I'm tracking. To, to read the rest of that. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go to the next one. And then we we'll, we'll, cause that way we can close it, come back and talk about it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. come out. Or we could just we could just stop and talk about it next time. Um let's just let's just let's just uh I know you're trying to get somewhere. I'm just excited about this because I know it. it's <laughs> it's it's interesting bitch had us study that now's a chance to go over it again <laughs> yeah it's been it's been a minute since i've actually gotten into this <laughs> it says and likewise a levite now this is the lawyer <laughs> this is the one who has the authority to 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 i think aren't, aren't they the ones that that has to start the stoning they they the, they the uh they were the administrators of this temple. Yeah. Yeah, they, they knew everything about the temple. They could be temple guards and everything else too, but they're Levites yeah. in the temple. Okay, and it says, when he was at the place, at the scene of the crime, uh -huh. came and looked on him. He looked the at The man him. that was, was left for dead. Yeah. And he passed by on the other side. He now, this him. Levite was no different than that priest in the fact that he knew. He even investigated it. <laughs> I don't know what he investigated. Was yeah. he looking to see was he a yeah. Jew? I yeah. don't know. I mean, the man clothes was well, taken maybe off. He, he, he can't investigate the, the crime. Uh -huh. And he was like, <laughs> he did. you know, well, hey, I'm, I don't want to get involved in this. Now, now one thing I'm thinking of, if he thought he was unclean being dead, he didn't want to touch a dead body. Yeah. Right? But he went over there and looked at the body and he recognized that joke was alive. Yeah. But let me go on the other side anyway. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, right? ain't nothing I can do for him. <laughs> I'm not gonna get 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 this this blood on my my <laughs> I got on, I got on my yeah. Sunday go to go to church clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can't go to I can't go to church service. You know, I'm unclean now. <laughs> Okay, and then it says, but, but, uh -oh. a certain Samaritan, this you is know, just almost like that guy right behind him. the average Joe Smo. Come on now. The person in the pews. Mm. As he journeyed and came where he was. Come on now. And he saw him. He saw him. He had compassion on him. And now he had the same Everybody else saw him. At least yeah. we're talking about church leaders. Yeah. Saw him. And they were people worshiping the temple. They knew the law. They knew the rules. They had no compassion. Yeah. Now that word, compassion, is the only difference. Yes, in sir. Between the first two. Because Christ moved by compassion, right? A lot of cases he said yeah. he moved by compassion. I mean, his whole purpose for being here. Yes. was compassion yes sir and these people show no compassion they had, look he's no they're no different from the parable part the uh the parable of the father and two sons that other son had no compassion for his brother yeah i mean yeah he said i have done everything that you asked me to do I, and you, you ain't give me nothing. You ain't give me no kid or goat for my friends. Yeah. Nothing. I did. I, you know what I'm saying, look, I followed the rules. Yeah. I did the things that supposed to be right, not only in your eyes but in society eyes. I did the law. And yet you ain't give me. You reward me with nothing. And yet this son of yours, I know he's my brother, but I ain't gonna call him my brother. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm disowning them. This son of yours. We talking about those who don't know. We're talking about the parable yeah. of the. Uh, we call it the parable, right? Of the prodigal son. But that's because we made that title. Christ gave the title of a father and two sons. Yeah. But that joker sat there and just, just had no compassion. None. You know what I'm saying here, none. 
that's what legal minded means. You know what I mean? Yeah. Being legal minded, legalistic. Yeah. Same thing with this. This those two Same people. Scenario. There was no compassion. None, because the law, the law on stone, has no compassion. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, well, it is what it is. It is exactly what it is. Is so. You know, in 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 reading this. <laughs> Man, all I'm seeing is the image of Christ himself. Yes, sir. That's why he put it that way. He he basically is the kingdom of God's principle. Uh, all I see is is this Samaritan being Christ. I mean, everything about it. Yeah. He wasn't a Levite. No. No. He was outside of of of, of the Levite. No, right. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Judah. So he had nothing to do with the law. No. Nothing to do with keeping the law. He was not an expert of law. No. Yeah, but he was because he was the law. Yes, sir. He was the law in flesh. Yeah, come on now. But and they were representative. They are covenant kids. Yeah, and so and they call they call this man what? What was it? What was the Samaritan? The Samaritan was just the Samaritan. He was he was he he's was a partial, he's partial Jew, right? Yeah, he, he's, he's not. Well, he's not full fledged Jew. Yeah, he wasn't. His his parents weren't from the tribe. Both, right. Both. And, and, like and could have been. Look, his parents could have been. Yeah. But his grandparents, course. one of his grandparents, may not have been. Exactly. Or exactly. one of his great great. It don't matter how far back. Right. But if it was mixed, you know, he, he had a mixture of yeah. being a, one of his. One of his fathers, yes, sir, or his father's father, or his father's father's father, was not. Yes, sir. They were like a Syrian or something. Yes, sir. Yeah. And they didn't like each other. Yeah. Well, put it away. Well, I don't like think them. it was that the Samaritans really. The Samaritans were reactive. Uh huh. To what the children, how the children of Israel treated them. Right. They were basically being great. What do you call it? They were. They had they had a racial overture toward, yeah. uh, toward them, yeah. Yeah. So it uh it goes on, and it says the Samaritan when he showed John he came where he was, and when he saw him he had passion on him, he did, and he, he went to him. Yes, sir. And the and difference he is he didn't move. know whether once again nobody knew the identity of this man. Yeah. But he was stripped. Go ahead. It says he bound his wounds pouring oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn. Yes, sir. To took care of him. So he spent time with this man. Yes, sir. And it says, on the morrow, on the next day, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host, the owner of the inn, and said unto him, take care of him. And whatever thou sendest, more whatever and whatsoever thou sendest more when i come again i will repay thee yes so this lets you know in my mind that this samaritan came this way before and was known by this oh yeah yeah in other words you know he had some credit yeah yeah and, and he's he good. Was an honest it's, man, and he was a man of his word. Come on now, hey, look, your money's good, bro. Yeah, I know you gonna take. I, I got you. Yeah, I got you. And also, it lets you know that the innkeeper was honest. Come on now, because he could have took the two pence and just threw dude out, which is which is the nature of yeah. He could have said, uh, "You need to take him with you." <laughs> he could have just took the pence and then after dude left. Just threw him out. But the, the Samaritan knew that wasn't what that, that type of man was, though. Well, he, he knew where he was bringing him. Exactly. Okay, and so it says, Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? And I want to make sure to emphasize one piece, though, right? Not just saying that who is my neighbor, yeah. but what I'm supposed to do with my neighbor which is back to the commandment, which is to love. Because that's what we're trying to ask the people today, right? Is mm -hmm. to love thy neighbor as thyself. 
But this is a this is a description of love, isn't it? Yeah. That's what he's giving. He's giving a parable. I'm asking what a neighbor is, but not only what a neighbor is, and what you're supposed to do with a neighbor. And this demonstrates the love. Because that was the first question in the beginning. What was I do to inherit eternal life? Yeah. And then he said to love the Lord. They said, the Lord said it, right? To yeah. love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, all thy strength, and all thy mind. And to love your neighbor as thyself. Now go ahead. Well, could he he, he answered it for himself? He, go ahead. Okay, and then he said, after asking on which one of these three was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves, because to be a neighbor, you have to have a neighbor. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, it's two takes two people to have a neighbor. Yes, sir. So one is neighbor among to the other. Uh -huh. Okay, and then he says, he that showed he asked him who was the uh, neighbor unto him, and he goes, and he said. He that showed mercy on him. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. And you'll get your eternal life that now, you're you know, asking for. Hey, and there's nothing saying that this person wasn't one of those folks that walked to the other side. He, come on now. <laughs> just, I come never on. thought of that. <laughs> come, on. come on. And then but the main thing is that he showed what love is to which is a form of mercy, a form of grace. A form of compassion. Yes, sir. There's your love. You want to know what love is? And I think we can pick that up from that point on next. You know, maybe it's, you want to meet Thursday? Uh, let me see what this does. No, I can't meet. I got, I got folks coming in. I got folks coming in until after Thanksgiving. Are you cooking that gumbo for Thanksgiving or are you cooking something else for Thanksgiving? Um, I'll be cooking something else for Thanksgiving, but okay. I'll be having gumbo prior to Thanksgiving. Woo! I'll make sure I, I give you a, a call. I, Here you I, go. Yeah, because you're getting it for them, right? A lot of those people are going to come eat the gumbo. That's a good way to bring, you know, you got people a, coming it's in. A, it's a prelude to, to the Thanksgiving. Yes, so, what you do? Uh, I'm, okay, first of all, for the people, God bless you. Appreciate <laughs> it for your time, and uh, we will see you hopefully next Sunday or or, or uh, whenever we see you. God bless yeah. you, and I, I hope you got something out of it. Love y'all. Okay.